guys, it's Marvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you my Manchester United vs Sunderland match preview. Now, I'm looking forward to this game. Sunderland are in a bad form at the minute. I know they played a half-strength team against Manchester City, where they lost 4-1 in the Capital One Cup, but still, their league form has been pretty wayward, and Jermaine Defoe will probably score now, I've said this, but he, his... Uh, shooting's been a bit off, but he's been trying. He's been, you know, getting into the key areas. He's been their main threat, as well as uh, Jens and um, Via, two signings that they've brought in. But on the grand scheme of things, they're bottom of the Premier League. We're at Old Trafford. We're high flying at the minute. We're second. You know, our performances might not have been amazing, but a couple of players, such as Martial, have really, really caught the eye. And um, yeah, I think this is going to be a great game for him. The only thing is, is most people are expecting Martial to score now. At the start, obviously, everyone was like, oh, he's a waste of money, he's too expensive and all this, and didn't expect much. Now the expectation's on there. I wonder if he can deliver it, all right? I, it seems completely unfazed, but, you know, that's one thing I don't want. I don't want too much expectation on him because he is only 19 and he's bound to make mistakes. He's been amazing at the start of the Premier League, but I don't want to put too much pressure on him because if he goes a few games without scoring, people will get on his back. And, yeah, that's just not fair because he is 19. But I do expect him and think he will score against Sunderland purely for the fact that his movement seems to be brilliant. And uh, I think Wayne Rooney will play behind. To be honest, I think it'll just be the same lineup that we played against Southampton, essentially. Um, unless there's a couple of injuries that uh, Lou Van Hals mentioned or whatever. But I think it'll be David De Gea. Actually, there might be a slight change for the fact that I think Rojo's got a hamstring problem. So I think Young might play as left back. Oh, what I would like to see is Darmian push to left back and Valencia on the right. But I don't think Louis Van Hal will do that. So I think he'll play Young on the left. And he'll probably, well, Daily Blind and Smalling will be the two centre-backs. I think that's fairly uh, ex self-explanatory. I think we'll have Dormian. Then we'll have Schweinsteiger and Schneidlin, in my opinion, with uh, Rooney in the middle, just ahead with Memphis, Matto on the wings, and Martial up front. And I think we could do some damage, all right? I'm going to predict a 4-0. I generally do believe because Sunderland are on so low form, so low confidence, etc., the pressure will start to get to Dick Advocate, and maybe he'll leave soon um you know just he was contemplating retirement anyway so i don't know if uh he'll he'll quit the job early a bit like harry Redknapp did but i if we do not win against sunderland then yeah we're not title challengers because no offense to sunderland but they are the teams you have to beat at home if you do want to compete for that title elsewhere manchester city could drop points against spurs but i don't think they will even though they're away i think they'll pick up all three points so we really need it this is a must win all right we have to win there's no excuses for not doing it yes luke shaw's injured yes rohu's injured but we should have a, a good enough squad to go out there and not just beat Sunderland, but play well, get a good result, a big result as well, which is what we need. Um, we need a game where we can dominate from start to finish. We only had a few last season. We've had, we haven't really had any apart from Club Bruges this season. I don't think we've had one in the Premier League where we've dominated. I mean, against Southampton, we were absolutely getting smashed for 30 minutes, and then we put on the pressure. I don't want to see this bullshit play where we've got to wait until we score or the opposition scores for the game to liven up. I want a good start. I want a nice early goal, get the pressure on. And then as soon as you do that, Sunderland can't sit 10 men behind the ball, which is probably what they're going to do. A lot of teams do that at Old Trafford to try and get the draw because that's what they want. So if we can get a nice early goal, that will force Sunderland out. And their defence is really, really flawed. So we, we should get a 4-0 victory. That is my opinion. What do you think? Do you think I'm being a bit naive or whatever? Or do you agree with me? Uh, I'll keep this nice and short, I suppose, because, uh, yeah, I've <laughs> uploaded a lot of videos. So let me know your thoughts. I'm predicting 4-0. I'm going to say Martial's going to score two. Wayne Rooney will get one. And Memphis the other.